This one is called Pearl for Diamond. Oh, little drummer girl. Such soft skin, kiss sticky caramel. Hinting a raw gentleness about the eyes and the heart. We honor her. Moon's child in circle here today, exposed to varying degrees of revelation, yet revered in vulnerability. Witness as her humble twigs raise in prayer and recall universal pulse and resurrect future ghosts, tickling the chins of the old sages. Arm like pistons, fierce tendons all, Unshackled thunder struck at light's end, yet her soul nests inside the gentleness, a voice stretched over seas and skin. We honor her. We dance the roar of ocean tides, with not yet mirrors shifting beneath our feet. On their still climbing grip, we stand. Oh yes, we stand and dance. We celebrate this spirit who reminds how beautifully a heart can beat if we just loosen the tap in our feet, if we just let our cores spring in a raw bone world where a black cis can't even qualify worthy enough to be named a target. Just a whore. Just a whore. Yet, and still. Homegrown poet and outsider to both academic and spoken word literary orbits, Black Cowrie is exploring Northern New Jersey and New York City's vibrant creative communities. This rebel poet in bloom seeks the fertile to foment beauty, cultivate collective empathy, and conjure anew who we, I, and I are. Black Cowrie is quirky, Black, queer, womanist, femme, disabled, poor, and of size, as well as an intuitive butterfly mermaid scribe still wet from the chrysalis. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. We got Rock the Boat by Dime on the side. We got Black Harry on the left and right. Let's go. <laughs> we in the house. Um, so this is um, 24 moons coming at you for um, February full moon foot soak. That's this Friday, so everyone should be watching, getting their feet nice and warm, nice and cozy, all um, soaked up and massaged up. So You share your question. I'll share with you the, the spread that we're doing in our process. So my question, I said, how can I develop unconditional love and forgiveness despite the hurt that I have caused and despite the hurt that I have received? Okay. Thank you for sharing that. Um, for me, a tarot reading is only a real tarot reading when there's stakes involved. When we're actually investing our intention and our intuition. So we needed a real question, and for you to share that particular question demonstrates a lot of courage, a lot of openness, and that's critical. Um, you get back the quality of answer of the question that you ask. The clearer the question, the more honest your intention, the more clear the answer, and the more honest the response. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that you're invested, and I hope people recognize and respect that. We're going to do a spread called Setting Intentions. I'm going to send it to you separately, but just so people get a window. That's what it's going to generally look like. Okay. Pictures later on of what your spread looks is going to look like on the table. Real quick, can I just jump in real quick? When you say spread, like, mm -hmm. what do you, is this like playing like, you know, I declare war kind of spread mm -hmm. or... Can you talk a little bit about the spread type, you know, what what part of the tarot is that or something? 
Sure. Tarot is um, a process that every tarot reader can divine for themselves, right? And for me, my process is to shuffle the deck, um, to lay spread at what I mean is smear to 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 distribute distribute the cards across the table, okay, and face down. Okay. And I'll wave my hand over the cards. My left hand is for recep receiving guidance and spiritual information. So I'm going to use my left hand. But we're doing this together. My role is simply to interpret and tell you what the cards are. That I've done the study of the symbology. I've learned this language. You've asked a question. And I'm just your companion on the road who's able to, to do the translation. Okay. So I will, after you select your cards, we'll pull our intuition together. Because we all okay. have intuition. <laughs> we'll pull our intuition together. Um, I'm already involved physically my energy is here what i'm going to need for you to do is to direct your energy into this reading your focus your attention not what you're going to do later not whether or not the sound is good not whether or not this is going well but think about your question um and being open and receptive to the answer and pour your intent toward me right to in this in this connection mm -hmm. Um, we all have different pathways to our, in accessing our intuition. And for me, I'm empathic. I mm -hmm. can sense people's energies regardless of whether I'm trying to sense it or not. Not all the time, but I can definitely be affected and impacted by other people's energies. Right? It's sort of the opposite of sociopathy, where there's a, a sort of durable um, resistance to taking on other people's energy. I can't really help it a lot of times. And I have to mm -hmm. check in with myself and see, is this... Am I upset because I'm upset or am I upset because I'm near someone who's upset? Mm -hmm. um, so this technology is helping us a little bit. Oh, Only we like to, can you see it? Um, can you pull it back just a little bit and to the left? Nice, nice, nice. Perfect, perfect. So it's a Kickstarter deck. And I was drawn to it because, after all, cards are just slivers of tree with indigo. I mean, that's mm -hmm. all that they are. Um, I'm adding my own sense of connection to this particular deck. I love it because I'll show you the back of the cards. Um, they're very water oriented. Okay. Okay. Nice. And they focus in on divine femininity, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mari in the sky uh, is the person who created this deck herself. It's her first deck. It's gorgeous. What is name again? Mari in the sky. Mari in the sky. Okay. M A R I. Mari. And she's on. She's on Etsy. And please give her some love because she puts a certain um, percentage of the proceeds from all of her um, products towards oceanography research and preservation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So what okay. I'm gonna do I was gonna read the question again to kind of kind of tune in. Reground ourselves, yeah. Yes, reground ourselves. I'm gonna start okay. shuffling the cards start. because okay. I need to pour my energy into it. Yeah. You, you share that. If you need to turn me down so that you can share, I'm fine with that. That's okay. Okay. Shuffling your back and I carry on. Is shuffling the deck, and then I'm gonna read the question again. So, as Black Harry said, to get grounded in the question, how can I develop unconditional love and forgiveness despite the hurt that I have caused, despite the hurt that I have received? How can I develop unconditional love and forgiveness despite the hurt that I have caused? despite the hurt that I have received. Okay. I'm gonna start spreading them out face down. We receive psychic information with our left hand side, it goes toward our right brain, right through our creativity, through our intuition. So I'm going to use my left hand mm -hmm. and I'm waving it and you just tell me when to stop. We're going to pick six cards 
I'm in no hurry. I know we're recording, but I want you to actually feel like, okay, now I want that. Don't just feel like you need to perform it because, oh no, we got a camera on. Okay? okay. Gotcha. We can always cut things out. So Now we're going to begin. You tell me when to stop. Okay. Pop. Okay. That's one. I'll show you the cards later. Okay. Second one. Mm -hmm. You got the second one? Okay, That's second good. one. Yeah. Three, four more to go. Okay. That's, That's good. Okay. So I'm just going to segregate the cards we're not going to use. I'll then show you the cards we got. So this is red. <laughs> Thank you so much, Black Kyrie, just for doing this for this 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 time period for the foot soak for everything. Oh. You are such an amazing like <laughs> this spirit of encouragement, and I and I totally mean that so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you sweetheart. Let me show you. Let me show you, and I'll explain um, the parts. Just at least what their positions are once they're laid out. Okay, we're not gonna see the laid out until we get the pictures laid out. Okay. But in the first card position of seed of intention, remembering your question, right? How can you maintain compassion, right? Yes. Despite your, being a human being, despite yes. the fact that we're in a yes. condition of flaw. The first one, seed of cups. Hmm. For this one, it's one of the royal cards. You can sort of see basking in the waters, peachiness. There's a receptivity there. Cups is the uh, suit of emotion. It's water, e intuition, elements. And this is one of the royal cards. It's usually kings, queens, page, knight. Uh, not necessarily in that order. <laughs> But uh, with the Seed of Cups and your Seed of Intention, I'm just showing a lot of trust. Mm. A lot of basking in, in divine waters, the, the reds, the purples, and the pleasure, the, mm. the openness, the floating of the crowd. There's a lot of just spirit of innocent intention, which mm. makes sense for the Seed of Cups because... The page position in the royal cards is one of the student, the messenger. So it's, uh, now in the hesitation and fears position, we have root of stones. Mm. Which I think we can sort of see it over here. Okay. 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 All right. Um, Within that, that is like the, the night, I guess you could say. And it's in the suit of earth, of practicality, of material existence, of data in this dimension, what our human interface interacts with, right? It's it's the dreamscape. It's, it's also what we manifest, what we create in a product sense, right? It's work. Um, and so, with this exploration of work is the same as when a flower starts to sprout, starts mm -hmm. to come into itself with those sacral, I mean, I'm, not, I'm sorry, those sacral chakra colors in the background of pleasure, but also solar chakra of coming into yourself. In tarot, everything in the symbology and archetype means something. It is very much a visual medium, mm. which is why deck selection is such a rarefied and important thing for a reader. You have to have a connection because they have to be able to build trust and have to be able to see into the images what the messages are, right? What is what is being encoded? Mm -hmm. And that's your hesitation and fears. There's something about moving into actually being a boss 
that you are ready for the adventure for on the one hand because our fears are always the flip side of our anxiety excitement and anxiety but on the other hand there's there's something that remember the, the framework of your question that's holding you back maybe it's a history of, of being ex, uh, having to be vulnerable and exposed even though that's that's your greatest strength and courage of all right but coming into your power and owning that is a hesitation for you now the third card out of our six cards you have a lot of royal cards we have harvest of cups hmm. okay. so, the thing is we have not seen major arcana cards yet major arcana is really for the spirit those are the deeper more persistent life lessons or existential lessons that we're going through okay. um, with the elements cut water earth fire and air those are much more transitive i mean the air is that has the speediest transition so an air card is is a flash of this is what the energy is right this second right now that's what we're tapping into like Imagine energy is a bunch of chords and we're picking up, okay, this chord and this chord to answer your question. These are the energies that we're pulling, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm not seeing that, that there is a major block to your question so far. We still mm -hmm. have two more cards to go. Um, it seems like it's a process. You're in a process of journey because this is in the position of what's pushing them, what's pushing you through. And we see the Billy though. Uh, Miss Capricorn, <laughs> uh, we see I'm born in the year of the ram in Chinese astrology, so I know persistence and fertility and agility on mountains and trees. Right? This one is already right. up in the mountain. Yes, looking towards the rainbows, looking towards possibility into the void, into the cosmos. Right? So, on that brink, what's pushing you? is your divine path, right? It's part, of, it's part of your journey. Now, the fourth card position is how intention will take root. We have the seed of stones. Remember we saw a seed earlier for the page position, right? The youngest royal card. And this gorgeous wonder for stones. Yeah, that, can you see? Yes. Yes, seed of stones, okay. Now this one, how the intention will take place, as I said, Paige is one of the students, is the learner. It's simply by the opportunity to engage in life on a practical level. Mm. Stones, earth energy, practical energy. You learn by doing. You learn by taking your time to mm -hmm. explore, honoring your body, mm -hmm. honoring your resources, having awareness of your dynamics, just like the, the deer is quite safe and happy in certain ways, but still aware, looking around, right? Eating, um, but aware. So through your through just walking with the innocence and understanding that you are in a human experience, <laughs> right? That none of us are mythological creatures. None of us get to play with the poison of perfection. Um, mm -hmm. Part of the way I'm starting to see the cards answer your question is that you just need to honor the integrity of your intention. Mm. So the fifth um, position, the fifth and the sixth positions are what's bringing to surface ways to nurture the intention, right? So we've we've done a sort of assessment of this is what, this is how we can this is what's going on. Mm -hmm. Usually in layouts, there's a position that talks about well. What's the next step? How can I move forward? You've given me a sense of what the forces are that I'm dealing with. Um, how do I want to move? These are the cards for that. Okay. Eight of wands. Wands is fire. Wands is vitality. Eight of wands is usually the symbol of voyage, travel by air, momentum. Mm. Wands are in flight right with their vitality all together um in suits before before the royal cards there's 10 cards on the process or the cycle of each suit mm -hmm. and eight is near the end of the cycle eight is the number of um 
eternity. Eight, the cycle of the yin yang, constant loop of eternity. Okay. Um, so it's about productivity. And this is the productivity of your magic because it's fire energy in flight, in momentum, on its way. And this is the way to bring to surface is to step into your magic, to move in with your momentum, mm -hmm. to not be resistant. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other way, oh, look at this one. Flower of Cups is in, the, in this deck is in the position of the queen. Mm. Mm. And look at that. <laughs> so this is in the positions of bringing to surface ways to nurture your intention. Okay. Now we have on the one hand, you need to just simply trust your flight with the Eight of Wands. Step into your magic. Go with your momentum. And on the other hand, Queen of Cups is here to tell you, just simply be your diva self, girl. That's right. <laughs> be the empath, be the nurturer, be the emblem and the symbology of what it is to hold compassion. You have an honorable intention and an honorable question and you need to trust yourself in that and just trust that the lessons that have come are lessons, not punishments, mm. helping you evolve. Now, later on, I'll, I'll let you know what it looks like so that you can see part of what I love about the pattern of laying out a card is that you can see the cards in relationship to each other and gain more wisdom, gain more information, insight. Okay. So I might add some note or two later. <laughs> yes, indeed. And I'm actually going to pop in all the contact information right here. Book black carry online and for tower reading check out the information below i write with water and flowers but i wish i could write with fire and stone i wish i could inflame with a vow spread dangerous heat capture and annihilate like sonia or sizzle conceptual like Mickey. Consonants ablaze, my torch would scorch a sacred space. Neath blood-soaked reds and forsaken oranges, as unholy eyes of white. 